question was about cannabis elements. I think her behavior during this has been disgraceful. Without a doubt. I can't, what was that? Yeah, and she still works for my company. And I think she's been absolutely disgraceful. I think that, I think that her, her faux sophistication on these particular issues has been ridiculous. It's not faux sophistication, it's ridiculous. Everybody can see the moves that she's making and the things that she's saying, and I find them disreputable. I am here today to endorse Nikki Haley for president of Israel. I think she's earned that. I think Bibi Netanyahu is going through a very bad time right now. Support for Israel has virtually collapsed socially. If you're paying attention to the trends and you're paying attention to what people are watching, you're paying attention to the protests. And the one person that I think is capable of getting it back is Nikki Haley with a, enough money from foreign interest lobbies. So there it is, guys. I'm endorsing Nikki Haley. President of well, National Review basically yeah. implied that he was anti-Semitic. They didn't say it was a timing or a tact issue, and that's why I rushed to defend him, because it's like, this is a kid that's put in a decade of his life defending pro-Israel causes. If you're throwing him under the bus and asking why other people won't be allegiant to you, well, this is a good example of why, because we're seeing how, how Charlie Kirk is being treated, and he has been unbelievably pro-Israel, and even his heart. And when he was asking these questions, was pro-Israel. What happened here? Mm -hmm. Why did so many die? I, I know how quickly I could get across there. The military failed the people. I mean, that, those are good questions to ask. You know, I would ask these so questions as a, yeah. if it was my family member, I would want to know. I would say they could but be you alive. Might not, you might not want to know at the funeral. You know what I mean? You might want a minute to grieve. And so, but just to move back to the university discussion, there are a lot yeah. of people in America that are sitting here going, okay, well... Can you answer why Jews are so special? Because as white people in this country and on, on university campuses, we are being taught that we are not allowed to have a voice. We have had to endure exactly what you're talking about, BLM. We've endured much worse than you have because it's in the actual textbooks. We are being told that we are systematically racist, that we are born wrong because of the color of our skin. And if we say mm -hmm. anything, we'll lose everything. This is the typical experience on white campuses. So people, this is not what about us. And this is like actually what we have been fighting for years. This is Tisha Paul and welcome to America and Television News. Go ahead, friends and folks and family and everyone that's watching, hit the free like and that free subscribe button. It helps a lot. Our team really needs this. So please hit the like and free subscribe button. So despite the fact that Candace Owen and her husband sit on $240 million, it seems as if there are a lot of stuff that she lacks. Number one, seem to be common sense. And number two, interpretation of the Bible. Now, here's a lady that's saying that she's conservative. Everybody is saying that she's far right wing, which we know that they have money. So she must have gotten herself there because once she was a Democrat, now she's a Republican. And she's been to Israel. And when she was in Israel, she talks about being surprised how the way the Jews um, have the, the Muslims have a headquarter in Jerusalem. And she got rebuked. She was rebuked by a comedian who is Jewish and he's he put her in her place you know this girl probably never had a job this is probably her only first job she dropped out of college to pursue this and she was friends with Kanye West and when she was friends with Kanye West she did what she did best whoop stab him right in the back parlay she went ahead and gave Kanye West parlay which you know was a dying corporation and Kanye West bought it because, you know, he's got bipolar and he doesn't always see clearly. She defends Kanye West a lot because he's got over a billion dollars and he's got bipolar. And she just knows that Kanye West always will have some controversial to say and then she'll get more spotlight. Somehow Candace Owen managed, managed somehow to make this Israel Hamas era about her. Somehow, she find a way to tie herself to it. Now, she's all of a sudden seemed to be for the Palestines. And I'm just thinking to myself, did this girl really read the Bible? You know, the things she said. One time she said on, on one of the shows, which we didn't get to show you the clip. Maybe we'll have it another time. Candace Owens once said, and it's just summarized. But she was saying that the uh, what make the Jewish people special. <gasps> Wasn't Adam and Eve the first people born and weren't they Jewish? So isn't that special enough for us? <gasps> Wasn't a Ten Commandment from Abraham, from the, I mean, the Ten Commandments from Moses and Moses is Jewish. And because of that, we are able to have a Christian nation. <gasps> yes, there's a lot that make the Jewish people very special, Candace. So I'll tell you to start reading the Bible. Maybe you'll figure a way that what God have to say about the Jews. 
Um, but it's just funny that she's attacking Ben Shapiro, who, by the way, is her boss for the Daily Caller. And now she's very get on it because she's on tweeting, you know, she's trying to get him to fire her because, of course, she's got to make it all about her. You know, Ben Shapiro is right. He did attack her and he um, is getting a lot of praises for that. And he has every right to do that because, you know, here's this girl who says she's a conservative and here are people like giving her, putting her to the top. Now she gets to the top. She's like, I do not like what's going on in Israel. I'm, you know, just come on, girl, get over yourself, please. This is bigger than you. This is bigger than me. This has a lot to do with biblical prophecy. This is why a lot of people are laughing at her because it's extremely funny. It's against nature and it's against the Bible. So it's just funny because we all know that there's going to be a war that breaks out in Israel and it's going to be the end times because Jesus is going to touch down in Israel. So it's just really funny to listen to these things. But people, why would Candace Owen go against Israel? Well, obviously, young people these days, Generation Z, they, she's 33 years old, Generation Z, they are making protests during the colleges. It's about the money. Candice Owen is an opportunist who follows the money. And, you know, that's why she had Kanye West in her back pocket saying why lives matter. Because, you know, she knew that it would bring her to the top. And when she bring her to the top, she just turned around and stabbed Kanye West by selling him parlay a dying corporation which she probably just used out all of the subscribers and got to the top with it. You know, they always say that there are some African-American people that have crab in the barrel mentality. And I think Candace Owen is one of them. She wants to be the only black person at the top. You saw what she did to the girl that ran, Kimberly. She trashed Kimberly's name. Then Kimberly sued her. Kimberly didn't win. But you wonder why didn't she want a black Republican in there? Because that would take the air. Candace want all the air in the room. If life was just about you, Candace, what would we do? I mean, it's bigger than this. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. Life is bigger than we expected. And these things have been talked about in prophecy. I'm Tisha Paul. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you another time. Tisha Paul and welcome to American Television News. Go ahead, friends and folks and family and everyone that's watching. Hit the free like and that free subscribe button. It helps a lot. Our team really needs this, so please hit the like and free subscribe button.